In this episode of Eddie Goes UK, we take a trip off the beaten path to find Hidden Chest Gaming. You're gonna love it. Yeah, is this stuff for sale? Yeah, yeah, it's oh. all. And hidden toy treasures. Oh, okay, I like it. Oh, dips. In this series, Aaron from Empire Toys 1138 guides me around the UK for some radical retro hunting. Come along as conventions, vintage toy shops, and collectors open up their doors for us to discover and learn about the toy grails and oddities Britain has to offer. It's royal toy time, so strap in and enjoy. Eddie Goes UK. Oh yeah, Aaron. Where are we, we right are. now? We are... <laughs> We're, in we're looking for the, the hidden away kind of stuff right now, so right? The place we're looking for is called Hidden Chest Gaming. And uh, the name definitely um, made us look a little while longer. Now, this is not the place I'd think I'd find a toy store, but... I've got a feeling this is one of those tucked yeah. away ones. If it's hard for us to find, there's still going to be some good stuff there. Not a lot of people know about yet. Yeah, it's, it's a fairly new store. It's a very new store. So, let's go and see if we can find it. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. Is it here? Oh, there we go. Walk in and I see toys, I see games, and I see Aaron. Oh. Here's Aaron. Yeah, here's Aaron. Once again, there's Dana. Hey, hey how's it going, man? It was so great to finally see Dana. He does YouTube as well, and now he's gotten himself his very own retro store. Two rooms filled with collectibles. Does it look good out there? Does it look good? Dude, it looks. There's more in there than there is in here. You're gonna love it. Okay. <laughs> you ready for this? I've been looking forward to this okay. for months. So let's uh, let's check it out. Let's, I cannot wait. Let's kind of we even got some wrestlers here. Wrestling, some nice ones. Some as wrestling well. business, some Hulk Hogan action. Game Beauty. Oh man, some old school Super Beauty. Yeah. Stands to make the stadium. We've got. Uh, Red and white stripes team here. The glass cases start coming in. So this is the, the stuff I typically take a look at. You got your He-Mans, you got your Turtles, you got your Power Rangers, you some Warhammer some, stuff. Yeah, got some 40k oh, here. Oh man, I love this. The 18 Helen Mad Murdoch. Yeah, we only got one. No way. There's two. Okay. <laughs> and it just fits so well with the, uh, the camo. Yeah. Fun fact number one. This actually used to be a fishing store. Now this is a real trip down memory lane. The fact that it used to be a shop for fishing supplies just adds to the flavor. And now it's the retro bait reeling in the toy collectors. There's actually quite some she stuff over here. The cool she stuff. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I kind of want to get more into it, but it's, it's, it's kind of expensive. I mean, pr prices here are pretty fair on them, but I've seen them go for so much lately and it's like, is, is there really that many people interested in it? She-Ra, Princess of Power, picked up where the original He-Man cartoon ended. It's essentially a spin-off and targeted primarily to the younger female audience. In 1985, these less bulky figures with hair you can brush came on the scene. A smaller but badass Barbie doll that came with weapons, steeds, and play sets almost identical to the Castle Grayskull, just that it was in pink and with fountains. We follow Princess Adora, who's also She-Ra, as she leads the Great Rebellion against the evil horde's tyrannical ruler, Hordak. Yet, yeah, Mattel separated the evil horde toy-wise by popping them into the Masters of the Universe line and all the good or girl-oriented characters in the Princess Power line. I guess that's why it's uh, so pricey. Okay. Because, you know, people, people probably didn't buy it as much back then, now they want it. Transformer action. Now wait a minute, there's rock lords tucked away within the Masters of the Universe toys. Bo. <laughs> and a, gnar a gnarly. Yeah. A little hidden gnarly. There we go, some rock, rock lords. Uh, the, the South Park carding game. Oh, right. Uh, is this the one where they throw chickens? Yeah, and like the Terrence and Philip dogs. Oh, really? I'll, I'll, I'll grab that one. Yeah. yeah. Saberstone is called. Saberstone. Okay, so we got 15 quid on Saberstone right here. It's coming home. 
Yeah. So out there, I got this gnarly that I was missing for the collection and a rock lord with a little head popping action over there. And uh, well, it seems to pop out like this. Yeah, you got yourself a rock lord. Awesome little transformer action. Uh, part of the GoBots line, I think. Yeah, this thing you wouldn't really recognize as part of the GoBots or, or the Rock Lords, but yeah, they're basically the same toy line. Crazy, right? I've never seen that before. No. Okay, okay. That might be Yeah. What is this? What What are you even? Yeah, I should have picked up the tiny He-Man. That was stupid. Is this like a poop leg thing? Or? I don't think it is. Um, I remember having one as a kid. Didn't have the armor, same as that though. Maybe it went on top of like like a plate. I want to say it's a cake thing. decoration. Mm. Oh, okay. I always like the turtle stuff. Actually, I'm I'm gonna gonna go ahead and already grab something for the possible maybe definite pile, and that is this uh, wacky action Mauser. That's cool. It's got a 15 on this. Now, I don't see a figure I need, I actually see one that I'm army building. This is the Mauser. I never found one just sitting in a store, so this is a very good find. Awesome. For my Baxter Stockman army. <laughs> <laughs> Basically a wind-up toy, and it still has that function where it's walking around. So it breaks really easily, but this one is still in very good shape. The annual, is, that's something that seems to be like custom to the UK though. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I had like a Brave Star one like that, and it was like made Annu in the UK, so. Annuals are very popular here. Okay. I think, I think like when we were younger, like pretty much every Christmas, like Daniel probably backed me up as well. You should always get one or two of them for Christmas. Okay. Like your Star Wars, your, your Turtles, any sort of uh, IP, you used to get them, so they're quite popular. To find them though without uh, kids drawing in the back, oh, okay, that's, yeah. that's the... Uh, that's the <laughs> without that's, any rips. Or yeah, any rips yeah. or like naughty drawings in the back of them. I'm always looking for like the weird stuff because you, you know I have like most of the toy lines they have. It's the same thing for you when you're yeah. looking for Power Rangers. You're out looking for like the the backpacks or or just the, the crazy merchandising yeah. stuff. I already did a walk around here just to be able to get dibs on stuff yeah, I like know. this. I was, I was I was talking <laughs> just having a catch up with. He was having a catch up with Dana. And next thing I come in here and there's already like Ed with a hand for yeah. the stuff. Like, dibs, yeah, dibs. I'm, I'm just gonna bring stickers next time. Like, yeah. Ed stickers. Like, this thing is coming home with me. Like, the, the collector's coin case thing over here. Um, I already have the one down there. But this is the second one. So, the second wave right here. Love the artwork on this. 1990s Mirage Studios. You got some more coins. Lovely. That blimp, the turtle blimp, yes. the turtle copter. Oh, man. Look at this. What are these blue? They just these are the Rex 1000, I want to say. Rex, right, okay. Rex 200. Uh, yeah, came out of a cartoon. Did they make Look figures amazing. for them or anything? They didn't. Oh, okay. But they should have. Yeah. They should have made it. NECA. <laughs> Super 7. Rex 1. I am programmed to serve and protect. So, some more Dungeons and Dragons. I, I feel like uh, I've, I've done. I've done my part on picking up the, <laughs> the Dungeons and Dragons this you weekend. You've done, you've done your but, bit. Uh, yeah, this thing I'm, I'm going to ask uh, to purchase that. That's, that's definitely a good one. That's cool, it's coins. Mm. Now, I wasn't the only one stacking up my maybe pile. Hey, there's some Dungeons & Dragons VHS down here. Wait, what, what are you saying? Some visionaries? <laughs> visionaries and street sharks? Yeah, oh, dips. <laughs> <laughs> But oh, wait a minute. I'm bringing some stickers next time. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Yeah, that, that's cool. It's cool. Turtles. There's some turtles here. Oh, visionaries. Visionaries. Oh, Might be some more that's as well. Cool. Aaron was like, you came over with all this stuff. And just moments later, Aaron was getting down and dirty for his collectibles. Isn't this something you had back in the day? Uh, I do have this. Uh, you in have the box. It. It's the trap. Wow. Okay. Does it? Does it still work? Uh, does it have? Oh no, we've got no ghost. No ghost? No ghost. But... Does it glow in the dark? Yeah, I think it does. Whoa, that's cool. And sometimes, we well, kind of lose it, but yeah. Ah, oh, it won't pop up. Oh, so it has an action where yeah, the, yeah, the, the yeah. trap opens yeah, up, so and you, this 
allows it to go back yeah. inside. Okay. So you the idea, it's, it's on wheels as well. It's the real Ghostbusters lunchbox. Look at that. Is that also by Bluebird? I believe so. I'm gonna find out. No, Thermos. Thermos. Ooh. You're at the bags, right? I, I saw that earlier, yeah. Yeah. You're like, oh, I, got, I gotta get me a bag like that. Some of the cool stuff they have here. Oh, dude. That's awesome, Doesn't isn't it? look amazing? I love the artwork on it. Check. We got the Stay Puff Man. Yeah, show, show the people this. Got Slimer or Green Ghost as it started out as. There you go, that's probably better. Whoa. There we go. And then the sides are awesome. Got Slimer on the sides. Oh, sorry, not Slimer, sorry, Stay Puff on the Stay sides. Puff. The Marshmallow yeah. Man. It's got like a little coin Ooh. purse in there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, so imagine. I can imagine it's, anyone who. You, you need that for soccer practice, right? Yeah. <laughs> that is cool. This had a. It said 25 on it. 25. Uh, I've never seen that before. So, and the clip is intact, which is <laughs> oh, huge. Cool. Okay. So, yeah. like, that's the sort of stuff that's that breaks. Really important. Thing. Yeah, yeah, it breaks really easily. It doesn't have a thermos, but uh, I'm gonna send these pictures to Bobby and uh, see what comes back. Yeah, because that's what it's all about, you know, helping other collectors finding the stuff they need. Yeah. Connecting with other ones and uh, just, you know, ha hanging out. You know, maybe. Maybe Greco needs another Metroplex in box or a, a Galvatron. That Metroplex is looking awfully good though. Nice box That's as well. Nice box as well. Whoa. Comes with a glow in the dark mini poster. Pack offers for premium items not applicable in the UK. What? <laughs> you guys missed out. I know. Got some visionaries in the box. Some of the, the, the cool. Vehicles right here, some Robo Force. Oh man, we got some good stuff. The Ring Raider Sky Base. That's cool, and just loads of board games. I think, I think Mattias would would have been would have been great at just digging through all of these board games right here. Look at that color. Yeah, poison green. He has the Super Zoidzilla right here. Whoa, man. And you would get two giant Zoids for free. That's a Robocop thing you were looking for, dude. That is. It's missing a few bits. It's Kenner, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron finds this Robocop car and he goes to check price, but he's taking a little long. All of a sudden, I notice Aaron is going through a box of things that haven't been priced yet. Toys from <laughs> over here. <laughs> Uh, so this is a fun box to go through. Yeah, is, is this stuff for sale? Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, I've, just cool. not, I've just not gone through uh, it myself uh, oh, yet. Uh, we'll help you, we'll <laughs> help you. I mean, I, I like a Beetlejuice. We'll make it out. Uh, that's good. That's good. I mean, Aaron's just going through. Oh, this is super cool. It's it's the humanoids, but I already have this guy. He's missing a hand as well, I think. Yeah, but this guy. Oh, come on. Oh, I like this, the colors yeah. of this one. The antennas are a bit off. Some turtles, Mask Rider. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm saying. That's Robocop as well. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mudface or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, you got mad for these. Okay. I dare they do. So out of that box, this guy really spoke to me. A Beetlejuice with a head spinning action. Not sure if this is one I'm gonna be keeping because Maddie is really looking for one. So this might end up uh, over in his hands, but um, lots of cool stuff in the box. So yeah, whenever you go to a toy store, it never hurts to ask if they have any new stock that just came in. See the Zoids? Man. I did. Those are freaking amazing. I sold all my Zoids oh, out. Man. Gargoyles sealed in the box. Some Beetle Borgs? I mean, like, how, how are they tickling your Power Ranger fancy? Do you know what? I remember watching them as a kid, because obviously I was well into that. I've got a couple of them. I'm not majorly collecting them, but I do have... I thought that show was super weird, though. It was. Like, like with the blue face guy. The little kids everything. and everything. Like, um, there is a playset for it as well. Yes. For Beetle Borgs. That's yeah. something I might want to get, because I'm, I'm always, like, really into play sets. And uh, I think I prefer the VR Troopers more Ooh, to the okay. uh, Big Bad yeah. Beetle Box. But okay. That's cool. Okay. But what I do have 
hidden behind here. Ooh, I've got that thing there. Oh, I've got this. Oh, I like that scout walker as well. That's cool, man. I, I have this in my collection. It's not in the box, but I do have it. Uh, Are those board. metal or is that? I don't. I don't have these. I didn't even Ooh. know the set came with yeah, these. Yeah, it came with those. So, so. that's a. Uh, Added some stuff onto the hunt list for a uh, the beetle bonder, the beetle bonder. Yeah, you know that's cool, man. Then we move into a galaxy far away with some uh, some Star Wars stuff, man. I'm, I'm I'm still you know searching for just the action figures, and I'll move on from that. So I pick up beaters anywhere, and uh, I picked out a couple cool ones. Yeah. yeah. Prices are really good on these. Very good. I love the little mini play sets you can see right there. Yeah. That's cool. Some of the, the minis. Some mini rigs in there. Dan's stuff. favorite. This thing looks amazing as well. The wicked the Ewok. Is that Wicked the Wee Ewok? That's yeah. Wicked, I believe. <laughs> and this is like a belt for you to carry around your figures in, right? Yes. Yeah. What, what is yeah. it called again? Like, not the thing. I think it's just a carry case. But carry it, it's belt. supposed to look like Chewbacca's yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. Not nerdy at all. No. <laughs> Why would you get nerdy? <laughs> couple of X-Wings right here. This is a newer one. Yeah, so this is the 95 Kettle. Oh, 95. It's 95. And that's a Pally 21, or is it uh, uh, That is... It says Kenner... No, it's a Kenner one. Cincinnati, Ohio. Yeah. But, Sweet. as you can see... Yeah, they look very similar. They just they reuse just the same mold. Oh, oh yeah. Then we got some Transformers. Oh, isn't that the Slave 1? some Slave 1's hidden behind it. I mean, we may have to look on top here. Some There's a couple of <laughs> Just chilling here, or fire spray ship, or whatever they call it now. Yeah. So I actually picked up Admiral Akbar, who was a mail away at one point, and an Ewok, because I have an Ewok village. So I kind of want to army build these guys as well, and just have a ton of them. Oh yeah. Awesome. Um, always fun to just add new Star Wars figures. I don't have a lot of them, so this is actually uh, great to go out hunting. I'm always going to find stuff I don't have yet. Some more uh, Transformers annuals down here. Got all the annuals. But just like, like, with most of the stores we go to, like, every toy line is pretty well represented. Over here, we got some more Warhammer stuff. Yeah. What is this? The Blood Bowl? So that's Blood Bowl. So that's actually oh, that's like a awesome. board game. Oh, okay. It's based in the Warhammer. It's like a sport game. So you have like a, a pitch, kind of like an American football style game. Okay. And you, you battle it out and it's, it's fun. That looks cool. Alright, and then in the first room there's a ton of video games. But I'm not, not after that right now. We will have some, some footage for you. Um, I think, yeah, I think I picked out a couple of things and uh, we're just going to see what happens mm. price wise I, I trust dana he's, he's a standout guy yeah. and uh yeah tomorrow we've got the nec coming up yes which uh dana will be at so, oh he's uh, gonna be uh, so if we miss well. anything we can always uh ask him again <laughs> ask him again <laughs> all right so thanks so much guys for tuning in to this episode we hope to see you back in the next one definitely, definitely. go and check out empire toys channel be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more 80s and 90s toy videos. And if you want to do more and support the channel, you can always join our Patreon. So, see you next time. Bye. Peace. Michael, red eyes. You've been crying. What's up with that? Let's a, a, a avoid him. I am, him. however, very interested in vice busters, where nice girls become vice girls. Oh, man. This is something for Maddie. <laughs> like we have like weird movie night. <laughs> well, that, is a that is definitely weird. Or the tempter. <laughs> a big part of the weird movies. <laughs>